Here in Britain, we don't like to boast, and we're far too reserved and polite to shout about our plans for this autumn's magnificent season of blockbuster cultural events in London. You see, we always take huge pride in our enormous modesty. I'd love to be able to look at London through the eyes of a foreign tourist, through the eyes of someone who hadn't seen it before, because I, I think we, living here, we might get a bit blasé about it, but actually we're spoiled for choice. Fantastic museums, probably the best theatre in the world, uh, great cinemas, plus you've got parks where you can rest in between. Well, in th this autumn, th th there's, there's so much to see. It's, it's, it's hard to pick anything out, really. Uh, for me, I, I shall certainly be going to the Royal Academy for, to catch the end of the Joseph Cornell exhibition. Uh, I would uh, tell people to get along the Strand and see Gypsy with Imelda Staunton in it. I declare a slight interest there. I've been married to Imelda Staunton for 31 years, but... Uh, uh, <laughs> it would hardly seem fair to wax lyrical about our award-winning West End theatre when we do have the finest actors to choose from. The, the unique thing about London is it's all so, so close, so accessible. You can walk around it all, you can do it all very quickly. Go, go on the London Eye, get to the top of the London Eye, get an overall view of the city, see where you're going, walk along the South Bank, there's the Festival Hall, the Haywood Gallery, the Queen Elizabeth Hall, the National Theatre, you can't go wrong really. It sort of doesn't matter really, you go into the, the National Gallery here, the Tate Modern, the Tate Britain, don't spend four hours in there, you'll get exhausted. Go in for an hour, see what you want to see, and then hit the coffee bar and buy something in the shop, you'll have a great time. Downton Abbey is coming to the end, at the end of uh, series six. Uh, Q national outbreak of mourning. Uh, for me, uh, it's uh, maybe it's the right time for it to come to an end and new challenges. I'm going to do a documentary. I'm doing a documentary on Lonnie Donegan, the King of Skiffle. If I was to pick one thing from the autumn season of culture, that's a tricky choice. I think, I mean, I love the, the Wildlife Photographer of the Year competition at the Natural History Museum. I mean, you'll see things there. You see pictures in magazines, on the TV, but to see some of these stunning photographs, I think I'd go make a beeline for that. So please, do come and see us in London this autumn. It really is rather pleasant.